Hey guys, my name is Kat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am doing another Play by Sephora um, unboxing for the month of November. And if you guys watched my video last month, I did it for the month of October and I actually forgot to unsubscribe. So here we are today. Um, yeah, I just decided to unsubscribe because the samples weren't for me. They're very foundation heavy and I'm not into foundation. But taking a sneak peek into this month of November, um, there's no foundation product. So will I subscribe for the month of December? Stay tuned. So the first thing that came in here is the Stay In and Playbook pamphlet. And it just has some little um, games, crossword puzzles, and um, word search, kind of fun stuff. And then if you open it up, it has all the products. So I'm actually going to start with the bonus this month, and that is the Atelier Cologne. And here is the sample. It came with this super cute postcard that can be sent out to friends, which I think is so cool. I love postcards. I love sending them to my friends. Like, this is great. So I will definitely be using that. But this has the notes of lime, coconut, and eucalyptus. When I smelled it, it smells very heavy in lime, so that's very apparent to me. Um, it's a very fresh, summery, tropical vacation kind of thing. And I guess I'm more used to like sugary scents, so this is a lot different. But it's very, very pretty, and it makes me want to go on a vacation to Mexico, I guess. Because it says this is from... They're doing like... Um, Oh yeah, it says that the lime was from Mexico. So the lime used for this was from Mexico, which is really cool. The next product that I have in here is the Siet London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. So this is a primer. And as you can see, there's little black dots in it, kind of mimicking um, watermelon seeds. Um, if this brand sounds familiar to you, that's because they do those cute little nail polishes with the bows on them. So I didn't know that they did a uh, skincare product. So that's pretty interesting. It says that this is new and it's an exclusive and it's supposed to smooth and minimize the look of pores with a vitamin E. I'm very intrigued. This is a very cute packaging pink, like what's more to love. I'm not opposed to primer. I just don't use primer because I don't use foundation. So not really a point. Okay. The next thing I have in here is a Lancome product. And it's a brand I know. It's Youth Activ Activating Serum. So this says it was chosen for my skin concern. So um, yeah, this is a little serum and I've actually never used any serums before just because I don't want my face to look like a little grease ball, but I really need to get into that. And I think this is a perfect way to dip my toes in the water, I should say. So yeah, and it's a great size product. Like I'm pretty sure this will last me a while and it'll help me see the benefits and if I wanna buy the full product or not. So putting this on my skin, it's not greasy at all. It smooths in nicely. Wow, I'm quite pleased. I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so now the next product. This is the Kiehl's, this is the Kiehl's Since 1851 Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. Water cream, it sounds intriguing to me. So um, it says the calendula flower, so it's a flower, is the day, is in the daisy family and the highest concentrate of its extract. So this is really cool, it's just a little cream. Um, I guess it's for your face, it doesn't really say anything, but I assume it is. Ew, it kind of smells like Oh, what does this smell like? Citrus and lime, it, or lemon. It smells like lemon to me, which is really interesting because it's daisy scented or in, it's in the daisy family. That smells really good. I will have to check it out. And actually, let me show you what this guy looks like. It's like goop. 
So you can tell it's not like regular lotion, it is water-based, more like a gel, which is super exciting too, because I feel like with gel products, you don't get as greasy as with cream products, which it doesn't really even matter anymore because we're running into winter and all of our faces are about to dry up like a prune. Okay, so the next thing, ooh, Living Proof. Okay, another brand I've heard of. So this is the Full Thickening Cream. This, again, all the, all the samples from this Sephora pack have been so good. Like, this is incredible. Like, it's not just one of those weird paper packagings. And that's, might keep me to stay longer for this. So this is the full thickening cream. And it says that you put onto hair before blow drying and it's supposed to make your hair look thickening and it's lightweight and long lasting volume. I've never actually gotten anything from Living Proof, but I do know the brand and I feel like it's talked about so much. Here, let me rearrange. It's talked about so much, so I feel like everyone and their mother knows about Living Proof. It smells good. So I'm excited to try this out. I could use volume. Okay, and the last product, I am super excited. It's a lipstick and I love myself a nice lipstick. This is the, this is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. It says to add a slight wash of a universally flattering color with this plum tinted lip balm meets lipstick. That sounds so exciting to me. Also, I love Clinique. Clinique was one of the first beauty brands I got into as a kid or as a young girl. So I'm gonna... Oh, that's so pretty. This is gonna be kind of like the Glossier, I kind of think. Also, my lips are stained right now because I have lipstick on, so you might not get the full like look of what it looks like, but based off the swatch, it's really pretty. So it's very natural because you can't really see anything. And then like I said, my lips are stained. But yeah, so I'm actually super excited with this month's um, little goodies. Like it had a bunch of like really cute stuff and good stuff and things that if I don't like, I can go ahead and give away to my mom and she'll like them definitely. Um, this was a great month. So if I had to give it, one out of five stars, I would go ahead and give it 4.5. I feel bad giving low scores, so I'm not a good like judge of things. There I go. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. All the brands were great. Um, everything was pretty useful. And um, they didn't rip me off with those lame samples that stores will sometimes give you in a little postcard paper. And you're supposed to like squeeze out a small amount of lotion. And like, I don't know what that means, okay? But yeah, so that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!